Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Andrea and today we are gonna learn all about Facebook. I started this channel as a way to give back and teach others about growing your social media presence and starting an online business. This week I had a very special request from my mom to do a video about Facebook. So Facebook has been around for a very long time as you probably know and by the looks of it they aren't going anywhere anytime soon with over 2.3 billion active users facebook is still the number one social media platform to this day and therefore your customer i'm sure is on there the purpose of this video is to teach you guys the technical steps behind opening a Facebook account, how to run your page, and all the basics behind having a Facebook page. If you guys want to learn more about how to grow your Facebook page, I can do a second video about that and let me know in the comments down below. All right guys, I'm going to get behind my computer and I'm gonna show you a quick step-by-step -step lesson on how to use Facebook in 2020 and I'll see you there. All right guys, here we are on the computer. I am now going to open up my Facebook account and give you a quick walkthrough on how you can start your business Facebook page and teach you guys that it's a lot easier than it seems. So let's go step by step and see the benefits of how to have a Facebook page. Okay, so we are here logged into my Facebook account and I'm just giving this as a demonstration. I'm just gonna go through and make myself a Facebook page. As you could see over here on the left side, um, that is the Felix K Facebook page. And this is another Facebook page that we made for Felix that we haven't used yet. But in order to create a page for your business, right now I'm signed into my personal account. This is my Facebook page. So what you would do from this screen, how I got here is I clicked on my name, you would go home, that is the home page. So this is where all your friends posts are that you can scroll through. You can post a status here, you could post a photo here, and that shares with all of your followers. Additionally, Facebook has stories, kind of like Instagram. You can post a story here by clicking this plus button, and you can put, again, some words on your story or post a photo to your story and that goes on here. These are your friends stories so when you click on them it'll show what they have posted. So let's create a Facebook page for your page. So we go to create and we're gonna go to page and you're gonna choose a business or brand or community or public figure. So for me, I'm more focused on doing a brand page. So let's just say this. I'm going to call it my same name that I use for Instagram. So it's going to be it's, it's Drea K. So that's mine. So category, um, how would you describe your page? So for Felix's, it's going to be art. For mine, it would probably be business, business service. Um, I don't have an address. So then I would click continue. Okay, I'll just put an address here. So then you can choose to upload your profile picture now. I'm just gonna skip it. And then the cover photo, I'm also gonna skip it, but you can add it here. And um, I'm not gonna do any of this right now. So there we go. I now have a Facebook business page and this is for your business. This is not your personal. It's connected to your personal. Think of your personal page as the main thing and this is like a branch off of it. So again, this is a business page. I would go through here, click add a cover, um, update the photo here. You definitely want to put in about section to tell people what your business inf information is, if they can contact you via email or your website, and tell people about your business and your story here. So 
then another great thing about business pages is that people can leave reviews about you. People, clients you've had can leave reviews on your business page. And so something that can be confusing for having a business page versus your personal page is the messages. So your business page messages don't show up in your regular inbox. So this right here is your personal messages. So these are messages from your friends and um, these are the notifications, the friend requests, the bell button, those are all for your personal page. All of these in the blue section up here. This is the main account. So in the white bar down here, this shows up once you click on your business page. So I'll show you again how to get to there. So if we're on the home page, say we just logged into Facebook, and then we go over here to shortcuts and you'll see right here the one I just created. It's Drea K. I'm gonna click on that right here and that brings us back to this, your business page. From your business page, you get this white bar and you can see it says inbox, creator studio, notifications, insights. So this is where you can learn about your audience insights. Um, you could see what kind of posts they're enjoying the most, um, what the recommendations are or your post engagement, how many followers you have. If you're running ads, it can show you the results from those here. Um, so that's really good to learn about your audience. You can also choose if you want it from the last seven days or from the last month. And then here's Creator Studio. So Creator Studio is where you can actually, eventually you can monetize your content. So that's another great perk of having a Facebook business page. Eventually, once you reach, I think it's about 30,000 one minute views on a video, you can monetize your content. So Facebook will prioritize longer videos and um, because those are the ones that they can put ads on. So this is Creator Studio, which basically shows you insights, monetization, um, and all of that, but in the beginning, you don't really need to worry about this. It also allows you to look at your Instagram through um, if it's connected to your Facebook. So you can reach both of those in Creator Studio. But for now, let's go back to our business page. Okay. So we're going to go back to our business page and again this is where you want to check your inbox for your business messages. So you would click on here and these are all the messages that people have written to you through your business page. So not through your home page. So this wouldn't be on my personal Andrea Facebook page. This is for your business page. This is my It's Drea K page. For you, it would be different. Um, but if you go to inbox, you can also look at your messenger. Messenger is the one that is connected to your personal. So that's the same thing as this little bubble up here. Or you can even check out your Instagram direct messages. So this is great if you have help eventually responding or anything like that you can give people access through your Facebook and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, you can also look at your comments through here. Basically this inbox is the place where there's all these um, options of responding so you can respond even to your Instagram messages through here if your page is connected. So then we have next ad center. Ad Center is where you can run ads for your post. So this is a bit of a complicated topic for another video. So we'll skip that today, but that's where you would do ads. All right, now we're back to our business page. Um, that's the run through. You can edit page info up here. This basically allows you to edit everything on your business page you can go through um, all these tabs and edit everything if you want to go through there all right now when we go to settings this is where you can edit if you want things to be private um, if you want everyone to be able to publish to your page or if you only want it to be you 
so you can choose your privacy settings here you can choose how people can contact you or tag you in things basically this area is where you can edit everything on your page and set permissions and privacy and all that so you want to go to settings for that all right one last thing i'm going to teach you guys today is how you can add your instagram account to your facebook so if you're on the home page you can click on this little arrow down here and you can go to business manager that's where you want to go so you'd click on your name and then let's see then you would go to this bar up here with these three little lines and you click on it and you would click on business settings so then once you click on business settings it allows you to add people so say that you have someone like i said that you want to add to allow them to respond to your messages or help you with that you can click on add here and i would suggest just giving them employee access not admin because they have full control over your business if you give admin access you want to just give employee um, and then you type in their email and on the next page it allows you to select what permissions you want to give that person so if it's just responding if it's posting posts you can uh, manage all that in there so then for your Instagram account you just go down here where it says Instagram accounts okay so my Instagram is already connected and all right so the last thing that I want to mention to you guys that I highly recommend you do, even if you're just starting out and you have a website, this only applies to people that have a website and are making sales on their website. So I would highly suggest, even if you're only making a few sales, but you will thank yourself and me later for doing this even in the beginning. But I would suggest you add a Facebook pixel to your website. So this is how um, Facebook can track each person who makes a purchase off your website and then in the future when you start to run ads you can use the data that this pixel has collected from your website and actually re-advertise to those people so that Facebook has an idea already of who your customers are so it's like putting a little thing on your website that anyone who goes to your website that little chip goes on to them and Facebook learns about them, who your customers are, and so you, they can help you better advertise to those people. So again, you go to the little sandwich thing and you go to um, pixels over here. And then over here it says create a pixel. And then basically it walks you through the steps here on how to set up your pixel. And so this is something that I highly recommend you do even from the beginning if you're only making a few sales every once in a while. This is just a great way to keep track of your customer data and learn more about your customers through the powerful tool of Facebook because as we learned earlier, we see that Facebook has 2.3 billion people on its platform. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. It's a great opportunity to get more clients or customers. Okay, guys, so we are back here on the home page. You can get here by just clicking home up at the top here. So there's a few more things that I wanted to go over in regards to features that Facebook has. So if you need to search for a page or someone in particular, you just go up here at the search bar and you would just type in the page or the name and they will appear there. And another thing, a great feature that um, I want you guys to be acquainted with is groups. So groups are a great feature. So you can, um, I'm just going to give you guys an example through Felix's page. So we go to the Felix K page. And we go to groups down here. It's all going to be in this bar on the left-hand side of your page. Um, if you go to groups, there's a couple groups here that he has um, for his academy and also for his patrons. So here on this page, when you click groups, it allows you to create a group here. But the great thing about groups is that it helps people who love your content. It helps them 
be able to be a part of your community. It helps you engage with your biggest supporters and customers and also it allows you to be able to give back. So um, something that we do in our groups is we do more giveaways in there. Um, It helps us to connect more with our followers. It allows the followers to be able to share their recreations of paintings they've done with Felix directly and we respond to them through here. So that's a great way to connect is through groups. So this is the painting community and through here you can um, comment just like the other part of Facebook where you can write a comment, things like that. Um, you can do live videos that's something else we do sometimes Um, we do a live video right here how I got there is I went up and I went to more down here these three little buttons it's also up here at the top you can either post a video write a post do a live video so we also do live videos in this group more than anywhere else that we do them so groups are a great place to connect with your audience and that's how we get to it. So another great feature of Facebook is that, and something that I love about Facebook, over all the other platforms, what I love about Facebook is that you can put direct links to your website or to somewhere else. Facebook allows you to direct people using links on your posts. So that's something great. Like see right here, you can click on these links. On Instagram, they don't have clickable links like this. So that's something that is great for Facebook. Something else that I love about Facebook is that you can have a shop section on your page so people don't have to go to your website. You, They can just click here and buy your products here if they want to. So the way that you set that up is again in the left hand corner here it says shop. You go in there and it will allow you to set it up. So most of the things having to do on your page that need to be edited, you can do in the settings tab up here, which is white. Okay guys, so something I wanted to remind you about is that posts on Facebook do best when you make the posts inside of Facebook. So I know that there is the ability to connect your Facebook account to your Instagram account so that all of your Instagram posts automatically post to your Facebook, but I would not suggest doing this. I know that Facebook promotes and pushes your content more if it is made organically through the Facebook platform instead of just connecting your Instagram to your Facebook. What I mean by that is that you would make a post right here where it says create a post. You can copy what you wrote in Instagram, paste it in here, and upload the photo. So or on your page, whether it's for your personal page or whether it's for your business page. So that is a little tip before getting started. And I just wanted to quickly run through a few things about the business page. So let's go to your business page. I'm just gonna use Felix's page as an example here. So I wanted to show you guys right here, this is your business view. So these things like get more online sales, boost an Instagram post, get started with ads, this is all only visible to you. But if you want to see what your page looks like to a visitor, you can click on these three buttons up here and click view as page visitor. So you would click on this and then this right here is a quick view of what it looks like to any visitors visiting your page so you don't have all that extra stuff that Facebook has written for the business view. So now I want to show you if you are trying to write a comment back to someone there's a couple options so here if you say you're trying to comment on this post. So we're going to look at the comments. It says 138 comments. So I'm going to click on that. And okay, so if I wanted to respond to this comment, I would click reply. And then I can right here, it shows I'm replying as my personal page. It shows my icon here. If I wanted to reply as Felix's page or as my page, I would click on this little button up here. And it allows you to switch between your accounts. So you can either post as your personal page, you could respond as it's Dre K or Color by Felix Community. 
So you choose from this little section how you want to appear as responding. So that's another quick tip I wanted to give you guys. For this next tip, we're going to switch back to your view. So this is my view as the business page owner. And I wanted to show you guys how you can take a look at what people are saying about your page. So on business pages, you get reviews. So to check what people are saying about your business, you can see right here, it'll give you a rating out of five stars and it's based on the opinion of 155 people. So you can click on this and it shows you what people have written as comments regarding your page, what they like, what they don't like, things you can improve on. So you can also respond to people's reviews or share them. So that is great for your business because it allows your customers to give feedback to other people who might want to know more about you. Okay, so we are also going to go back to our business page home screen. So we're just going to click on home and we are going to go to one of these posts and you can actually share these like say that you wanted to share one of your business posts on your personal page so i could click on andrea kaparchuk and i would click share and then i would say share the share dot 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 And then you can select where you want it to be shared. So the timeline, that is the main home page. When you log into Facebook or when you click on home up here, that's your main timeline where all your friends posts show up. This is where your post would show up for your friends. So that's your main timeline. You could also share it on your story. You could share it to a friend's timeline. You could share it on a page you manage. All, there's tons of different options, but this is how you share a post. All right, guys, these are some of the tips to using your Facebook page. And I hope that these could help you grow your business page, help you get a better idea of the functionality behind a Facebook page. And yeah, thank you. All right, everyone, that's everything for today. I hope that you could find this video helpful. Thank you to my mom, Nourished Functional Nutrition, for giving me this video suggestion. Please let me know, guys, if you have any suggestions for future videos or um, online business topics or social media topics that you would like to learn in the future, and I will consider them for my next video. Please be sure to give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button down below so that you're notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks guys and take care.